James Codd has a couple of games. Jim Pond. What is it with Genesis games not understanding how lighting works? Having a hard time picking up the key. Are you an enemy or a friend? Um, I actually still don't know. I don't understand. But whatever, we got it. Why are we leaving when there's still... Our mission's not done! James Bond. Our mission's done now. Well, thank you for the music and the look for items screen. Items? What? I did it. One of the other pipes was the exit. We have an escort quest. Oh, that's now. Oh. Huh? Oh my god, he's super dangerous. It really is an escort mission. With some great music. Wow. What the? James Pond almost had it there. Is that a bomb? It looks like a pickup. I hate it. Come here, fish. Only one of them is smart enough to get up here. Uh, I can't get them both to follow me at once. That's the issue. There's ten of them! Yoku block. Um. <laughs> Please. Release James Bond. I have no idea what to do with this fish.
I mean, maybe there's something across here. If I can get across. That's one way across, I guess. Thanks, pal. We're dying because we're a uh, fish, I guess. I thought we were a frog for some reason. Um. Let's back up, I, I guess. Phone. It was cute when Bubble Bobble gave me random items all the time. I'm dead. Nope, I'm okay. Don't know why. Did I do it? I saved a fish? So we have to... We have to do that loop like four times, right? Hey, there's the Titanic. Think about that. Next fish. It's one at a time. It's not a hard path or anything, it's just, you know, shitty. The escort part is functional, I'll give it that. It's just that we have to do... How many fish? If we have to do them all, it's gonna take a while, because there's quite a few. But there's I Love Mom mugs. I hit another mine. That's okay, I'm just clearing the path to make it faster. No fish left behind, except for it's so annoying that I think I will, actually. Minimum four. Man. The fish with the golden bar. Get it? Well, that was the first of a couple James Pond games. We're going to jump into the third one. See where the series goes. By Vector Deer. He looks better than ever. I thought the light bulb was part of his head. <laughs> Headline, blah, rats. Why would it say that though? Because it looks like it's a paper for rats. The sports is about rats. The, um, the job offerings. Is 
This guy just sounds like he's running a business. This is just... This doesn't sound like there's anything illegal going on. Let's jump in. Ugh. Please, please enter. Good luck, Pond. Good luck. I feel like I have seen the James Bond games before. So I'm not caught off guard by how terrible this is. Oh my god. Yes, I am, actually. No one can remember that speed. I blew up cheese. feels so bad. Like, there's an elephant element of uh, platforming game design that just got glossed over here, and it's, uh... I feel like the reason it glossed, glossed over is because, uh... It's just so obvious a thing that no game has ever done it before, and that is... Not to change what you can run up and down <laughs> like this. What the fuck? It's supposed to be physics, I guess. All of these games are super confusing. How do I? Two punch, you hold down the C button and press left. No bonus. Ah, oh, not enough moons. We are depending on you, Pond. A punching form. <laughs> you don't like the font choice? I can see that. Oh, jeez. The controls got switched? Because I'm upside down? Yeah, give me that moon bonus. That looks like Chuck E. Cheese. The old version. Oh. Oh, man. Not enough speed. <laughs> it's a collectathon mascot kind of game, but it's really annoying in a way that most of them aren't. How do I get the speed I need to get across that? It's 
It's a good thing I extended my HP. <laughs> what? They just that they just have these incredibly fast sections, and then there's just a mouse in the middle of them, and it sucks. It's terrible. Phone call. Do you think this is wise, going for extras instead of finishing the stage? Ah, bonus. Super exit. No bonus. How many moons do you need? I'm trying to figure out what this monster is that I'm looking at. It looks like a frog with a mustache. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I mean, I actually like this. But man, it's crazy. Can we skip the stage? Is this the, uh, the flying cape of James Bond 3? Try this again, but not quite as hard. Should be a pit coming up soon. I can't see anything. <laughs> Sorry, James Bond. I just want to see if I can even clear this. Knowing that it's here, I got ratted. I, I guess. I mean, that's that, that's still a mouse. It's just a bigger mouse than the other one. Oh, how do you kill him? How do you do anything? I guess I have to punch him. Ah! I can't make this jump. Well, I actually do have James Bond too. I was just throwing y'all off. James Bond two, code name Robocod. What song is this? I've heard this before. It's gonna bother me all day. Is it Robocop? You're right. Yeah, I should have got that stupid reference. Based on the visuals, very helpful. I mean, it doesn't sound at all like it, but the beat is the same. All oh, right, this is the weird game me and Ty played blind for a while, where you can just extend forever. And if he happens to grab a roof, he'll do that. Think that's unsettling. Take a look at the background. 
the art direction for this stage was, what if James Bond was a bunch of ping pong balls? Also, they're tennis balls, and not ping pong balls, for some reason, even though there's ping pong paddles everywhere. Is that poison? It is! Check out that health bar down there. I think this game has elements of a game, unlike the other two, I really hate the other two. This one is almost something unique and playable. The gimmick is weird as hell and stupid, but it's something. And that health bar down there is neat. I, I actually do like the way it's done. I'm sad that he doesn't lower his finger when I take a hit to further indicate that I only have two health. So I guess it's not as good as I thought it was, but it's, it's close. Too bad about the gameplay itself and the sound and the sights and the music and the enemy design and the items that are stupid and random. the sense of progress that's not there. The repetition, the confusion. The floaty controls. I think that's everything. The hitboxes on those ping pong paddles. Hold on. Gonna grab it. That was the intended way out. What's the what the hell is the background now? I've been snaked. I don't know how to turn the exit on, which is right here. Meaning that we're gonna have to go back to it. Plane. My plane. Is this a game where you must kill every enemy or something? But they respawn. Yo, his face down bottom is pissed about that poison. Oh man, the number of uh, lives I have is what he's showing on his hands. So it's even better than I thought. It's showing more information than I realized. Health bar is good. Just penguins? There's another. There's an alternate exit here. Okay, I see penguins up there. My 
All right. <laughs> but we finally got a music change. Oh, and we got an onk. I want you to think about how tiny this putter is in relation to that golf ball. It's Jelly Boy. A beta of Jelly Boy. Because it never finished getting ported to the Genesis, probably. Mr. Helpy's on the board. Goes Jelly. For those of you unfamiliar with Jelly Boy, you need to find. Uh, basically, you get to the last level in this stupid platformer where you can morph into things. And that's bad enough. But then when you get there, you realize that hidden in the stages are a puzzle piece, one per stage, that you need to progress. And once you collect all those, you find out that there's another one, a key, hidden in some random unnamed stage. You must find that as well. Both of these are required before you can leave the world, which is an awful, horrible place to begin with. I don't know what this thing is all about. Maybe I need that hammer power up. Oops. I believe that rings in Sonic are the same as music notes in this. Hey, I'm a regular Jelly Boy connoisseur. I, I like to pretend I'm the reason why everyone has ever played this stupid game. Destroyed. Okay, there's just a bonus here. The puzzle piece is much easier to see. We have animations galore. And check some of them out. Idle animation. Maybe it's only when he's facing right. I don't know why he puts on glasses after the duck, but he does. There's the puzzle piece right there. Much like Sonic, you can just grab the, the ring equivalents, the music notes, right after being hit, immortalizing yourself. Um, I feel like I'm missing something here. A balloon was here, and now it's not. So I can't hammer my way through. Gotta go up this way. Well, like I said, that thing there is not optional. We gotta get it, so. They tell you that after you find one. There's eight of those, and then there's a boss key, and uh, there's no indication of where the key is. It's at this point that I wish the level was complete. Damn. Oh, 
Oh no! I got chomped. This game is incredibly hard. It gets ridiculously hard uh, later in the game. Some of the worlds you can go to and you pick your next world for some weird reason. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Some extreme challenges in Jelly Boy down the road. Looking good. I don't think the fruit does much for me. The game sounds better on the Genesis somehow, I think. Well, I mean, it's still got a stupid horn central Genesis style, but that song at least sounds better. We have a time limit. Here we have a stage that revolves around skateboarding at ridiculous speeds. I would like that orange, please. Okay, it gives you like 10 seconds. Very nice. This is more unplayable than it looks. This level sucks. <laughs> this level two. Uh, we need this skateboard at the end. Uh, obviously, we don't need to take the sim one the whole time, but um, the one that's close to the exit I do need. I need so much time. I'm screwed. It's not 10 seconds, it's five. It's not enough. I happen to know where the puzzle piece is and it's gross. Skateboard required. I think. I think it's up here and there's gonna be a jump I can't handle without it. I'm a door! <laughs> There's a concrete slab of Jelly Boy, he can't move. Forgot about the bear. They have the stage like this, but there's no way you're evading this garbage because there's no indication of where to be. You just need to know. They give you this cherry path, but it doesn't help you much. Damn it. My time is running on empty here. Ah, jeez.
Hey, Harry the dog. He's never far from your side. He's dead. I need to get up there. Harry the dog is back. He doesn't do anything. Can you give me my skateboard back, please? The exit's right over there, but I do need the skateboard, and they're just not being nice about giving it back. Wasn't there one over here? Where's the skateboard? They don't respawn! This game has a quacking button. You get three tries, that's it. What's our continue do for us? Nothing. Okay. Stage one is done. We're good. We're back in. Oh, this game was released. It just wasn't released on this console. It might have been released on this console, but I don't think it was. skateboard I hate that there's so much fruit down there but it's all a dead end so I don't think it's the way to go here I got to uh, watch out for the dude he keeps getting me there he is it's actually not that hard to stay up here once you finally get up here but you do need the skateboard the whole time because of that freaking jump, that crazy jump. And that's it. We still don't take Harry the dog with us. Drum solo. Avocados and pears are immortality for Jelly Boy. Though apparently not for very long. If you didn't think I was jumping well before, check me out when I jump right down a pit with my pogo stick. Oh no, we don't want to be here. Shit. Time to use everything I've learned. Oh. Hey, at least it's a short level. this gotcha door uh, block power here it just turns off all your skills and wastes three seconds in a timed event
That was close. Oh! Here comes Jelly. Better make sure I grab these rings. Because dodging is not happening. So what really steals this for me as an incredibly stupid bad platformer is the hunting for items. Uh, having to do that means that you're just running around in a maze. The exit is meaningless until you found the item you're looking for. Goodbye, Jelly Boy. A new tennis. <laughs> nice flattering picture that we have here. What could you possibly customize? Oh, I can make my character. Can I? Can I change any of this? There he is. Okay, it, it only go it doesn't loop around, so if you hit left twice, you're stuck on white and it doesn't go to Asian, you know what I mean? It just that's what was confusing me. What do we wear? Hot cyan. Okay, so the actual customization comes in the swing and shit. I'm all for the back. Got great footwork. Don't know what a net is. There he is. Anyway, we're not actually playing. <laughs> Let's do it. I'd like to see if I'm allowed to interrupt the AI or not. I'll play. Let me back up here. Is that a Garolin? Shepherd with no H? It's true, it is an option. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Club. Oh, what a swing. Club 15. Club 15. Oh my god. Club 30. Holy shit! Unbeatable destruction! What a strategy! Okay, I found the, the law button, but I didn't find the, that slam. Oh! Automatically hits it too hard when you hit that button. Oh no, I'm up top. This is gross. Man, it's so hard to keep it in the line. Like, I can only hit the ball, I can't control where it goes that well. Oh, 
Happy Sixteen. Why dive? <laughs> was... How? Forty Sixteen. Well, those numbers are basically saying it's seven to two, but um, tennis scoring is complex. We're currently one point down still and about to lose a second one. For those of you who don't know, yeah, we just lost a second one. For those of you who don't understand tennis scoring, me either, but I know, I know how it works, but I still don't understand it. Oh, God. Why do I have to be up top? Can I be back down there where I can play? Man! <laughs> Everything is so hard to do! I feel like lobbing it is bad for my chance of winning this. Can we be back bottom? Thank you. Oh my god. When I'm playing against AI, I should have the choice of where I stand. It's very awkward. That was really good. Well, changing sides is fine, but we're playing a video game and I don't need to have a weird perspective. You don't play tennis in real life from a helicopter view of yourself. Oh no! I don't know how to make her dive for it. Ah! Damn. Okay, so this is a deadlock thing where we have to get two in a row. Or else it never ends. It's weird. But I didn't get the point just now for no real reason. That's tennis scoring, pals. I got my first actual point. We're on the board! That wasn't a fault, it was a let. Whatever. Some games don't even bother with that concept. Oh no! What? <laughs> God damn it. This is a pretty average tennis game, actually. This nest has one almost exactly like it. What? Nothing cool will happen. It's tennis. No! Okay, well, I don't think I'm getting another point, folks. Because I'm up top now. I'm gonna let her win and see our game over screen. I'm doing better just smashing the button in turbo. Well, except for the not serving 